Hello, good afternoon from Elkhart, Indiana. God bless you. I am going to pray with you from this upstairs workroom of mine because it's about seven degrees warmer than downstairs. If you're not from Indiana, it's like the high right now today is three, I think. It's very cold. And, um, and it just stays warmer upstairs because I have an old boiler and that's just the way it works. So I will be praying with you here. And the sun is so bright and so beautiful. I shut that curtain enough where I think you can still see me. And we're going to pray to St. Michael. I brought my St. Michael statue up here. And we'll pray to Our Lady. And I wasn't able to be here yesterday, so in between the Sorrowful Mysteries, we'll pray to the Holy Spirit, asking Him to really penetrate our hearts with his love and his wisdom, his peace, his light, his grace, his healing for those of you who need healing. We pray as always for the intentions of Our Lady of Fatima for the conversion of Russia. And we pray for my book project for Russia. In God's time, he'll provide the money and the means to do that. We pray for the Ukrainian refugees, so many different issues that they have coming here and it's hard for me to keep up with them. So we just ask the Lord to provide for all their needs. We pray for the triumph of the Immaculate Heart in Russia and throughout the whole world and our own personal hearts. We pray for an end to the war in the Ukraine. We pray for and end to the war in Israel and Palestine and in the Sudan and all over the world that suffers that way. We pray for an end to communism, for persecuted Christians in China. We pray for those who struggle for their faith in Russia and the former Soviet bloc countries. We pray for our projects for Poland. We pray for persecuted Christians all over the world especially those we serve in Pakistan and Afghanistan and throughout the Middle East and Africa and Nigeria, in Uganda, the Cameroon, Ethiopia, Tanzania, Kenya. We pray for the persecuted Christians in Nicaragua, especially those we serve who are being threatened. We ask that the books that we have sent bring with them miracles of grace, that people truly take the message to heart and pray, and that those prayers change the situation there. We pray for our work in Mexico and Colombia, Belize, Honduras, Ecuador, Puerto Rico, Peru, for a project in Peru, in Bolivia, in um, Brazil, Argentina, Venezuela, the Philippines, and India. Canada and here in the United States, especially for our work with the priests, the seminarians, and the bishops. We pray for all the needs of the Fiat Foundation and the Children of the Cross, for the Bethany House of Crucified Love and Prayer. We pray for those with financial struggles, households that are needing help, that the Lord may provide miraculously everything they need and for ministries, for orphanages, for different missions throughout the world that have financial needs. Pray for those looking for work, those who are studying in school, especially those who are struggling, those who are discerning school. I ask for prayers for um, my doctoral work and that the Lord provides financially here. And we pray for our families, for especially those who are divided, for healing, for repentance, for forgiveness, for those who've left the church. We pray for the elderly, those with dementia and Alzheimer's and their caregivers, those with addictions, those with eating disorders. We ask for prayers for a young girl who is um, really struggling with an eating disorder and her mom has really beside herself. 
We ask for miracles during our rosary today for them. We pray for children who suffer and are abused, neglected physically, emotionally, spiritually, those who are trafficked, those threatened by abortion, those who are longing to conceive, those who've just had babies or are expecting, those longing to adopt, or those in foster care and their caregivers. We pray in a special way for the Lord to bless Levi and Liam, Jonathan, Colton, Calvin, Aubrey, Cecilia, Colette, Sophia, Calvin, Michael, Lincoln, Sophia, I think I said, um, Nora, Joseph, Matteo, Vianney, Dean, and all of the children who've been entrusted to our prayers. We pray for the children of the cross prayer groups all over the world, and for all of the necessary graces and fruitfulness that are needed with that intention. And we pray for all of your intentions and the intentions of all of these different pages. And I ask you to please remember my intentions, especially those that I have not mentioned. Jesus said, where two or three are gathered in his name, he is there. And look, we're a large group, and he is here. And he wants to answer our prayers. So we shall pray. I want to remind you at the beginning of the promises Our Lady made to St. Dominic for those who pray the rosary. There are 15 promises given to us from Our Lady when we pray together. And I'm just going to read them so that you're inspired. So in this rosary, right, what happens when we pray it? Number one, whoever shall faithfully serve me by the recitation of the rosary shall receive signal graces. Number two, I promise my special protection and the greatest graces to all those who shall recite the rosary. Number three, the rosary shall be a powerful armor against hell and it will destroy vice, decrease sin, and defeat heresies. Number four, it will cause virtue and good works to flourish. It will obtain for souls the abundant mercy of God. It will withdraw the heart of men from the love of the world and its vanities and will lift them to the desire of eternal things. Oh, that souls would sanctify themselves by this means. Number five, the soul that recommends itself to me by the recitation of the rosary shall never perish. Number six, whoever shall recite the rosary devoutly, applying himself to the consideration of its sacred mysteries, shall never be conquered by misfortune. God will not chastise him in his justice. He shall not die an unprovided for death. If he be just, if he be just, he shall remain in the grace of God and become worthy of eternal life. Seven, whoever shall have a true devotion for the rosary shall not die with a, without the sacraments of the sick and of the church, right? Number eight, those who are faithful to recite the rosary shall have during their life at their death the light of God and the plenitude of his graces. At the moment of death, they shall participate in the merits of the saints in paradise. Number nine, I shall deliver from purgatory those who have been devoted to the rosary. Number 10, the faithful children of the rosary shall merit a high degree of glory in heaven. Number 11, you shall obtain all that you ask of me by the recitation of the rosary. All those intentions we listed, right? And for all the holy souls in purgatory who are asking our prayers. Number 12, all those who propagate the holy rosary shall be aided by me in their necessities. Number 13, I have obtained for my son that all the advocates of the rosary shall have for intercessors the entire celestial court during their life and at the hour of death. And number 14, all who recite the rosary are my son, my brothers of my only son, Jesus Christ. And number 15, devotion to my rosary is a great sign of predestination. So those are all the different promises. They're listed in this book, Mornings with Mary. 
that I use as we pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. O Jesus, in union with your most precious blood, poured out on the cross and offered at every Mass, I offer you today my prayers, works, joys, sorrows, and sufferings for the praise of your holy name, for all the desires of your sacred heart, and reparation for sin, for the conversion of sinners, for the union of all the Christians, for all of the intentions of our hearts, and for our final union with you in heaven. Amen. My queen and my mother, I give myself entirely to you, and to show my devotion to you, I consecrate to you this day. My eyes, my ears, my mouth, my heart, my entire self without reserve. Wherefore, good mother, as I am thy own, keep me and guard me as a property and possession. Amen. And the prayer of Jabez, oh, that you bless me indeed and enlarge my territory, that your hand would be with me and you would keep me from evil, that I may not cause pain. I believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father the Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. We pray for Pope Francis, the Cardinals, the Archbishops, Bishops, and the priests who work for them. We pray for their protection and for their intentions, for their conversion, for humility and integrity and wisdom and knowledge and understanding, right judgment, courage and fortitude, faithful, sorry, faithfulness, justice and mercy, generosity, reparation, and love. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For an increase of faith. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pay it for an increase of hope. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For an increase of love, charity, and conversion. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And on Tuesdays we pray the Sorrowful Mysteries, and the first Sorrowful Mystery is the agony in the garden. In this mystery, we see how Christ fears in the face of death. I think more than he feared the physical suffering, which our bodies do recoil from. He feared that separation from his father, that his sensibilities endured when he took the sin of man upon his own back his own flesh to make reparation for it. And it was that deepest part of Christ, his sacred heart, that prayed, Father, not my will, but yours be done. That is the wisdom of God. A person is wise when they allow their reason to be led by divine reason, which is always subject to divine love. In this mystery, we pray that our thoughts and our words and our actions may always be subject to divine love. 
We pray that we can surrender to the Lord like Christ. By the intercession of St. Michael, the celestial choir of seraphim, may the Lord make us worthy to burn with the fire of perfect charity. By the intercession of St. Michael and the celestial choir of cherubim, may the Lord grant us grace to leave the way of sin and run in the path of Christian perfection. We pray for wisdom, knowledge, understanding, right judgment, counsel, truth, and light. And we pray, Holy Spirit, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, enter our hearts. Holy Spirit, who is equal to the Father and the Son, enter our hearts. Promise of God the Father, have mercy on us. Ray of heavenly light, have mercy on us. Author of all good, have mercy on us. Source of heavenly water, have mercy on us. Consuming fire, have mercy on us. Ardent charity, have mercy on us. Spiritual unction, have mercy on us. The agony in the garden, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession, the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The second sorrowful mystery is the scourging at the pillar. In this mystery, we see clearly how Jesus concretely took upon his body 
the wounds that we caused God through our disobedience and sin. And he suffered in his body to heal us from temptations, from the world, and from the flesh, and from the devil. He suffered in reparation so that those who fall, especially in bodily passions, those who struggle with the, the um, capital sins, might be healed, right? He struggled so that we wouldn't be prideful, or vain, or selfish, materialistic, or lustful, or gluttonous, or jealous, envious of others. He prayed to give us that humility and that pure love that was contained within his heart. And in order for that perfume to come out, his body had to be shattered by the wounds of the scourging. In this mystery, we pray with St. Thomas of Solano, exhausted you sought me, crucified you saved me, may your wounds not be in vain. By the intercession of St. Michael and the Celestial Choir of Thrones, may the Lord infuse in our hearts a true and sincere spirit of humility. We pray for peace and purity, meekness and gentleness, humility, joy and docility. And by the intercession of St. Michael, the Celestial Choir of Dominations, may the Lord give us grace to govern our senses and overcome unruly passions. We pray for God's will to be made known to us, for help in perplexities, and for holy zeal, perseverance, determination, trust, and confidence. Holy Spirit of love and truth, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit of wisdom and understanding, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit of counsel and fortitude, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit of knowledge and piety, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit of the fear of the Lord, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit of grace and discernment and prayer, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit of peace and meekness, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit of modesty and purity, chastity and innocence, have mercy on us. The scourging at the pillar, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us a stay, our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us excuse me, from evil. Amen. Russian. Radusia Maria, Blagada ti polnaya, Gaspod staboyu. Blagoslavian na tinyesh de jonami. I Blagoslavian plochereva tvayevo isus. Svetaya Maria, Matir Boja, Malisa nas Grishni. Nini vcha smirti nashi amen, Polish. Strovash Maria waski pauna pan stabo. Bogoslavianash tinyenza I bogoslavioni ovo čevota tvejego Jezus. Šventa Marija, Matka Boža, mudlše za nami kšešnimi. Kera si v gođina i šmirči naši amen spaneš. Dios te salve Marija, jena res te gracija, el senjores contigo. Bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres. I bendito el se fruto de vientre Jezus. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros, pecadori, ahora y a la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén, Italian. Ave Maria, piena de gracia, al Señor y con te. Tu se benedetta fra la donna y benedetto el fruto del tuo Señor, Jesu. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, prega per noi pecadori, adesso en la hora de la nuestra muerte. Amén, Latin. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostri, Amen. Russian. Radusia Maria, blagadati polnaya gaspod staboyu, blagoslavia natinia stajonami, I blagoslavian plochereva tvayevo isus. Svetaya Maria, Mater Boja, Malisa nas Grishni. Nini vcha smirti nashi amen Polish. 
Strovas Maria waski pauna pan stabo. Bogaswaviona stimienta nevistami. I bogaswavioni ova chivota tvaigo jesus. Shventa Maria matka boja ludal shizanami Terra sif gojina i shmirchina shi amen spirish. Dios de salve Maria generis de gratia el senioras contigo. Bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito el se fruto de vientre Jesús. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros pagadori, ahora y a la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Italian, Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus, fructus ventris tui Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in hora mortis nostri. Amen. Oops, I have one left. We'll do Latin. Maybe I skipped Italian. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus, fructus ventris tui Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in hora mortis nostri. Amen. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicur erat in principio et nunc et semper, Ed in secula seculorum. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave. Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The third sorrowful mystery is a crowning with thorns. Here, Jesus, who is the King of Kings, right? We honor him in his omnipotence, his power, his glory. He's mocked. There's really no uglier evil that can be done against a person than mockery. There's something so just sadistic about mockery. And he did that to Christ. In this mystery, we pray in reparation for that. We pray in reparation for the times where we don't trust the kingship of God, that he is all-knowing, all-seeing, all-powerful, all-loving, and he combines these attributes and puts them at the service of man, not just generally, but us. People write to me often about different sufferings or struggles in their life. I don't always have an answer. But I truly trust, just as much as I do when I encounter sufferings in my life, that God sees and he knows. And he's all powerful. He's all capable. And he's all loving. And he is a plan. And he allows different kinds of evils sometimes, but it's only to bring a greater good about. And it's only to leave man free. And it's amazing as I encounter people throughout the whole world to see the beautiful flowers that bloom from the wounds of Christ's followers. You cannot be a, Christ, a follower of Christ and not be splashed with his bloody footprints, right? He says, if you want to follow me, pick up your cross and come. But when we accept these wounds and we the battle wounds, right, of Christ, and we entrust them back to him. He makes beautiful fruit, beautiful flowers of grace come from them. 
And so we ask that we can do that in this mystery of his kingship, in his kingship marked. We pray that our reason may be subject to his divine reason and divine love. We pray that we have the mind of Christ. We pray that we can always discern the will of God and the voice of the Holy Spirit. That we know him, that we love him, and that we do his will. By the intercession of St. Michael, the celestial choir of virtues, may the Lord preserve us from evil and falling into temptation. We pray for the grace to carry out the will of God, for the government of seasons and elements, for those in public office and extraordinary needs of mind and body. By the intercession of St. Michael, the celestial choir of powers, may the Lord protect our souls against the snares and the temptations of the devil. We pray for the powers to fight against the evil spirits that are set to destroy the great plans of God. We ask for strength and courage and bravery and fortitude. And we pray, Holy Spirit, the comforter of mercy on us. Holy Spirit, the sanctifier of mercy on us. Holy Spirit, who governs the church, have mercy on us. Gift of God, the most high, have mercy on us. Spirit, who fills the universe, have mercy on us. Spirit of the adoption of the children of God, have mercy on us. The crowning with thorns, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us a stay, our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, 
Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession, the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave. The fourth sorrowful mystery, the carrying of the cross. In this mystery, we ask the Lord to help us discern when we meet people suffering, how he wants us to help carry their crosses. He wants us to bear each other's burdens. Sometimes it's just through prayer. You can't do more. Sometimes there is more. And it's the process of discernment that helps us to stay within the will of God. We pray ultimately for God's will in our lives, that we may have eyes of compassion, hearts of compassion, hearts of generosity, whether it be alleviating someone's financial struggles, maybe their physical inability to do something, right? A lot of times I meet these Ukrainian refugees and they need my language. I might not have the time, I think, or, but they can't communicate, right? So I have to help them with my Russian. God asks us to serve in, in so many different ways. Maybe it's praying for a neighbor that you know is suffering and you don't know them well enough to go over there, but you, he wants you to carry that suffering. Let's pray that there's an increase in compassion in the world. And let's pray in a special way for that gift to be born in the hearts of our priests. To be compassionate means you have to be selfless. You have to be gentle. You have to be giving, and you have to be radically loving with souls. It doesn't even matter if you only have a few minutes. You don't have more time to give to someone. But to do it with a spirit of generosity and selflessness and love for them. So let's pray for that gift of compassion. By the intercession of St. Michael, and the celestial choir of principalities, may God fill our souls with a true spirit of obedience and compassion. We ask them to guard all nations, to help those in authority, those who govern bodies and souls. By the intercession of St. Michael and the celestial choir of archangels, may the Lord give us perseverance and faith and in all good works in order that we may attain the glory of heaven. We ask the Holy Spirit's help with this. Holy Spirit, inspire us with the horror of sin. Holy Spirit, come and renew the face of the earth. Holy Spirit, shed thy light in our souls. Holy Spirit, engrave thy law in our hearts. Holy Spirit, inflame us with the flame of thy love. Holy Spirit, open to us the treasure of thy grace. Holy Spirit, teach us to pray well. And Holy Spirit, give us the courage to be truly, authentically compassionate. The caring of the cross. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us a stay, our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Um, Russian, Radusia Maria, Blagadati Polnaya, Gaspod Stavoyu, Blagoslavienna Tinish, Dijonami, I Blagoslavian, Plodshreva, Tvayevo Isus, Svetaya Maria, Mater Boja Malisana Skrishni, Nini Vchasmirti Nashi Amen, Polish, Strovesh Maria, Waski Peona, Pan Stavon, Bogoswavionash to Nienzenevastami, I Bogoswavioni, Ovot Shivota, Tvaego Jesus, Shventa Maria, Matka Boja, Mudoshes Anami Chishnimi, Terasif Gojina, I Shmirchinachi Amen, Spanish, Dios de Salve Maria, Yeneres de Grazia, El Senores Contigo, Bendita Tueres entre todas las mujeres. 
I bendit will say fruit of the vientre Jesus, Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros pecadori, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amen. Italian. Ave Maria, piena de gracia, el Señor es con te. Tu se benedetta fra la donne, y benedetto el fruto del tuo seno, Gesù. Santa Maria, Madre di Dio, prega per noi peccatori, adesso al nell'ora della nostra muerte. Amen. Latin. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tu Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostri. Amen. Russian. Radusia Maria, blagada ti polnea gaspod staboiru, blagaslaviena ti jeshto jonamu, i blagaslaviem plecereva taia vo isus. Svetaia Maria, Mater Boja, Melissa nas grishni, nini ifcha spirti nashi, amen, polish, strovash Maria, waski pauna, pan stabo, Bogoswavionish tinienza nevastami, i bogoswavioni ova chivota tvaego Jesus. Trenta Maria, matka boja murlshes and amig shishnemi, terasif gojina ishmir chinashi amen Spanish. Dios te salve Maria, yenares de gracia al Senor es contigo. Bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres. I bendito el si fruto de vientre Jesús, Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros, pecadori, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Italian. Ave Maria, piena de gracia, el Señor y con te. Tu se benedetta fra la donne y benedetto el fruto del tuo seno, Jesús. Santa Maria, Madre de Dio, prega per noi peccadori, adesso en la hora de la nostra muerte. Amen. Latin. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus, fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in hora mortis nostri. Amen. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto. Sicud erat in principio et nunc et sempre et in <coughs> saecula saeculorum. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. <coughs> The fifth sorrowful mystery, the crucifixion and death of our Lord. In this mystery, we place ourselves at the foot of the cross. We ask the Lord to have mercy on us and to have mercy on the whole world. We pray for all of the people who have helped us in life, all of the people who have hurt us or sinned against us in life. And we pray for all those who we've helped that we still carry in our hearts and for all of those that we may have hurt either on purpose or inadvertently that the Lord may pour his powerful blood upon each one of us our families our relationships our work our school our ministry and that he may Send the, the, the message of peace to the world through us, through our love, our forgiveness, our prayer. 
By the intercession of St. Michael and the celestial choir of guardian angels, may the Lord grant us to be protected by them in this mortal life and conducted in the life to come to heaven. Amen. Holy Spirit, enlighten us with thy heavenly inspirations. Holy Spirit, lead us in the way of salvation. Holy Spirit, grant us the only necessary knowledge. Holy Spirit, inspire in us the practice of good. Holy Spirit, grant us the merit of all virtue. Holy Spirit, make us persevere in justice. Holy Spirit, be our everlasting reward. The crucifixion and death of our Lord, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us a stay, our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we set up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, O most gracious advocate, thy eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exiles, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we be made worthy of the promises of Christ, let us pray. 
O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech thee, that by meditating on the mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, that we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known, that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, we fly unto thee, O Virgin of Virgins, our Mother. To thee do we come, before thee we stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer us. Amen. O Saint Joseph, whose protection is so great, so strong, so prompt before the throne of God, I place in you my interests and desires. O Saint Joseph, do assist me by your powerful intercession and obtain for me from your divine Son all spiritual blessings through Jesus Christ our Lord, so that having engaged here below your heavenly power, I may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers. O oh, Saint Joseph, I never weary contemplating you and Jesus asleep in your arms. I dare not approach while he reposes near your heart. Press him in my name and kiss his fine head for me. Ask him to return the kiss when I draw my dying breath. Saint Joseph, patron of departing souls, pray for me. O oh, Saint Joseph, tear of demons, cast thy solemn gaze upon the devil and his minions. Protect us with thy mighty staff. You fled through the night to avoid the devil's wicked designs. Now, with the power of God, smite the demons as they flee from thee. Grant special protection, we pray, for children and the unborn, families and relationships, work and ministries, homes and possessions, persecuted Christians, priests and the dying. By God's grace, no demon dares approach while you're near. So we beg of you, St. Joseph, always be near to us. Amen. We pray the long prayer of form of the St. Michael prayer on Tuesdays, written by Pope Leo XIII. O glorious Prince of the Heavenly Host, St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the battle and the terrible warfare that we're waging against principalities and powers, against rulers of this world of darkness and against evil spirits. Come to the aid of man whom Almighty God created immortal made in his own image and likeness, and redeemed at a great price from the tyranny of Satan. Fight this day the battle of the Lord together with the holy angels, as already thou hast fought the leader of the proud angels, Lucifer and his apostate host, who were powerless to resist thee, nor was there place for them any longer in heaven. That cruel ancient serpent who is called the devil or Satan, who seduces the whole world, was cast into the abyss with his angels. Behold, this primeval enemy and slayer of men is taking courage. Transformed into an angel of light, he wanders about with all the multitude of wicked spirits, invading the earth in order to blot out the name of God and of his Christ, to cease upon slay and cast into eternal perdition souls destined for the crown of eternal glory. This wicked dragon pours out as a most impure flood the venom of his malice on men of depraved mind and corrupt heart, the spirit of lying and piety and blasphemy, the pestilent breath of impurity, and every vice and iniquity. These most crafty enemies have filled and inebriated with gall and bitterness the church, the spouse of the immaculate lamb, and have laid in pious hands in her most sacred possessions. In the holy place itself, where the sea of holy Peter and the chair of truth has been set up as a light of the world, they have raised the throne of their abominable impiety with the iniquitous design that when the pastor has been struck, the sheep may be scattered. Arise then, O invincible prince, bring help against the attacks of the lost spirits to the people of God, and give them the victory. They venerate thee as their protector and patron. In thee, holy church, glories as their defense against the malicious powers of hell. To thee as God entrusted the souls of men to be established in heavenly beatitude. Pray to the God of peace that he may put Satan under our feet, so far conquered that he may no longer be able to hold men in captivity and harm the church. Offer our prayers in the sight of the Most High so that they may quickly find mercy in the sight of the Lord. And vanquishing the dragon, the ancient serpent, who is the devil or Satan, do thou again make him captive in the abyss that he may no longer seduce the nations. Amen. 
Behold the cross of the Lord, be scattered ye hostile powers. The lion of the tribe of Judah has conquered the root of David. Let thy mercies be on us, O Lord, as we have hoped in thee. Lord, hear our prayer, let our cry come unto thee, let us pray. O God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we call upon thy holy name. And as supplicants, we implore thy clemency, that by the intercession of Mary, ever virgin immaculate, and our mother, of the glorious St. Michael the Archangel, thou wouldst dying to help us against Satan and all the other unclean spirits who wander about the world for the injury of the human race and the ruin of souls. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit. Angels of God, our guardians dear, to whom God's love commits us here, ever this night be at our side to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. And we pray for the souls in purgatory. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and may your perpetual light shine upon them. May their souls and all the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Eternal God, we offer to you the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world for all the holy souls in purgatory, sinners everywhere, those in the universal church, within our own home and within our own family. Amen. And lastly, we will pray the consecration prayer to the Holy Spirit from yesterday. And then for today, the consecration prayer to the angels and to St. Michael. Come, Holy Spirit, come, and from your celestial home, shed a ray of light divine. Come, Father of the poor, come, source of all our store, come within our bosom shine. You of comforters the best, you the soul's most welcomed guest sweet refreshment here below in our labor rest most sweet grateful coolness in the heat solace in the midst of woe O oh, most blessed light divine shine within these hearts of thine and our inmost being fill where you are not we have not nothing good in deed or thought nothing free from faint of ill heal our wounds our strength renew on our dryness pour your dew Wash the stain of guilt away, bend the stubborn heart and will, melt the frozen, warm the chill, guide the steps that go astray. On the faithful who adore and confess you evermore, in your sevenfold gift descend. Give them virtue's sure reward, give them your salvation, Lord, give them joys that never end. On my knees before the great multitude of heavenly witnesses, I offer myself, soul and body, to you, eternal Holy Spirit of God. I adore the brightness of your purity, the unerring keenness of your justice, and the might of your love. You are the strength and light of my soul, and you I live and move and am. I desire never to grieve you by unfaithfulness to grace, and I pray with all my heart to be kept from the smallest sin against you. Mercifully guard my every thought and grant that I may always watch for your light and listen to your voice and follow your gracious inspirations. I cling to you and give myself to you and ask you by your compassion to watch over me in my weakness, holding the pierced feet of Jesus, looking at his five wounds, trusting in his precious blood and adoring his open side and stricken heart. I implore you, adorable spirit, helper of my infirmity, so to keep me in your grace that I may never sin against you. Give me grace, O Holy Spirit, Spirit of the Father and the Son, to say to you always and everywhere, speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. O holy angels of God, here in the presence of the triune God and in the love of Jesus Christ, my Lord and Redeemer, I, say your name, Mary Elizabeth Ann Klaska, a poor sinner, want to make a covenant with you who are his servants so that in union with you I might work with humility and fortitude for the glory of God and the coming of his kingdom. Therefore, I implore you to assist me especially in the adoration of God in the most holy sacrament of the altar, in the contemplation of the word and the salvific works of God, in the imitation of Christ and the love of his cross and the spirit of expiation, in the faithful fulfillment of my mission within the church, serving humbly after the example of Mary, my heavenly mother and your queen. And you, my good guardian angel, who continually behold the face of our Father in heaven, God entrusted me to you from the very beginning of my life. 
I thank you with all my heart for your loving care, and I commit myself to you and promise you my love and fidelity. I beg you to protect me against my own weaknesses and against the attacks of the wicked spirits. Enlighten my mind and heart so I may always know and accomplish the will of God, and lead me to union with God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O most noble prince of the angelic hierarchies, valorous warrior of Almighty God, zealous lover of his glory and terror of the rebellious angels, love and delight of all the just angels, my beloved archangel, St. Michael, desiring to be numbered amongst your devoted servants, I today offer and consecrate myself to you and place myself, my family, and all I possess under your most powerful protection. My home, my property, my finances, my education, my ministry, all of my relationships we place under your most powerful protection. I entreat you not to look at how little I as your servant have to offer, being only a wretched sinner, but to gaze rather with favorable eye at the heartfelt affection with which this offering is made. And remember that if from this day onward I am under your patronage, you must during all of my life assist me and procure for me the pardon of my many grievous offenses and sins, the grace to love with all my heart my God and Savior Jesus and my sweet Mother Mary, and to obtain for me all the help necessary to arrive at my crown of glory. Defend me always from my temporal and spiritual enemies, particularly in the last moments of my life. Come then, O glorious Prince, and succor me in my last struggle. With your powerful weapon, cast me far from, cast far from me into the infernal abysses, that provocator and proud angel that one day you prostrated in the celestial battle. Amen. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make our hearts like unto thine. O sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate and sorrowful heart of Our Lady, pray for us. Good Saint Joseph, pray for us. All you holy angels, pray for us. All of you saints, pray for us. All you souls in purgatory, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Alleluia. Have a blessed evening.